are yeah what's up folks welcome to ontario history vlogs thank you very much for tuning in today i'll be talking about a building that i've talked about once before a building that's been here in ontario since 1910 the former commercial hotel slash yangtze restaurant building only this time we'll be able to see the interior and to see why some of these historic places are catching on fire the yangtze restaurant closed in 2015 and the building it occupied has been closed ever since and since then there has been a lot of talk as to what will be happening to this historic structure now, I've heard a lot of stories. They may tear it down. They may restore the building. They may just use the facade. Who knows what to believe? Nonetheless, it's a historic structure that needs immediate attention that has been neglected by the city for about 10 years now, and it could only get worse. And after you see the interior in just a minute, you'll agree. Many times I've reported this to the Ontario Economic Development Department in hopes of finding out why such conditions must exist in downtown, but they are very careful about the information they give, especially to me. In fact, they ignored this request. So with that said, I could only show you what they are ignoring and why I think these historic places are going up in flames because of this. So without further ado, let this vlog begin. Historic Euclid Avenue, an avenue that's now 140 years old. Many of the buildings here are almost just as old. Take for instance this extraordinary commercial structure that was built in 1910. It was one of Ontario's first hotels after the 20th century. It was called the Commercial Hotel, owned by D. Howard Akee, who was a local plumber. He advertised the hotel as a 50-room hotel with 60 pieces of modern plumbing. The main floor consists of a single millinery shop ran by a gal, Mrs. Gibbons. The Commercial Hotel thrived and all was well until the owner, Mr. Akee, went to prison. Since he was going to be gone for a long time, he sold the hotel to Mrs. Gibbons, who then changed the hotel's name to the Victoria Hotel. Fast forward to the 1950s, the hotel aspect of the business closed and the rooms have been abandoned ever since. The main floor remained shops for some time and in 1961, the Yangtze restaurant opened for business. It operated here in downtown for 54 years before closing in 2015. The building has been abandoned ever since. A look inside reveals what the conditions are like today. It's been seven years since the Yangtze restaurant closed, and today it looks horrendous. Recently, Ontario has lost some historic places due to conditions like this, and it comes from neglect. There are some buildings here in downtown that's been abandoned for over 10 years and still are today. Sure, it may take some time to get the funds to restore these buildings, but the city was awarded a $35 million grant to revitalize downtown Ontario. They have the money to take care of such conditions. Just because there's some abandoned buildings around doesn't mean that they have to look this way inside. The city owned the Fallis house and neglected that for years, and we've seen what they did to that house. This could easily be cleaned up to keep such an incident from happening again. Now, I reached out to the city many times to volunteer my time to clean these places. However, they don't allow for me to, which is understandable. However, this is a major fire hazard in the heart of downtown Ontario on Euclid Avenue. This is just one building. The building next door is just as bad. It's very sad to see this. These landmarks are a significant part of Ontario's history and personally I think this building particularly may be demolished. There is no way the city will restore this structure since it will cost millions more to repair compared to its final value after it's completed. Behind the property there are several more developments which have been completed. To the north you have the Ontario Town Square and at D Street a new apartment complex is currently in the works. This property that the Yangtze restaurant sits on will be next to go. The city isn't going to build around it and leave this the way it is. As of right now, there's no definitive answer as to what will be happening to this 1910 commercial structure. After seeing how the city of Ontario is neglecting this building and allowing for it to get to this state, the final outcome can be predicted. But how much longer will conditions like this keep existing in downtown? How much longer will these buildings remain abandoned? I have no idea. 